Hey there, Barstow. Welcome to B2B on this great Wednesday morning. Today, I'm with another B2B newcomer, Chris Hoffman. How's it going, Chris? It's going great, and I'm happy to be on the show. It's great to have you, man. We hope that all students are making the necessary strides to accomplish your academic goals. Midterms came out last Friday, so just a friendly reminder to make sure your grades are on track. Yes, now we go to Ben, who's on location in the gym with the sports roundup. Ben? Girls Tennis has a match today versus Shawnee Mission East. Wish them good luck. Girls Golf is at Minor Park tomorrow versus Summit Christian Academy. Boys Soccer has a game Friday versus John Burroughs from St. Louis. Should be a great game. Girls Tennis has a Pembroke Hill tournament this weekend. And don't forget that Girls Volleyball has a game versus Maranatha at 5 p.m. This will be live streamed in case you can't make it to the game. Be sure to check it out. I'm here with McKenna Bainsberger, and she is a seventh grader. What sports do you play, McKenna? I do swimming team at Blue, but not Barstow. Uh, what do you like about swimming? It's exercising during the week, and I get to go with my friends. And that's just it. Um, do you do anything for Barstow? Uh, no sports, no. So what are you guys doing in gym class right now? Uh, right now we're doing soccer, and last week we were doing tennis. That's cool. All right, well, thank you guys, and back to the studio. Thanks, Ben. Great work as always. And staying with the theme of volleyball, we will now be going to a piece produced by my co-anchor, Joey Penn. So, Joey, what's happening with girls' volleyball this year? Take a look, Chris. Shay, I have to agree with her on that one. That was that a one little out. Been and, out. Uh, oh, and what? a hit by Shanley. She got to redeem herself. Um, I, we are expecting a great season. We have a very strong team with a lot of girls coming back. We only lost one senior last year, so we'll be able to build on the way that we ended last year, which was very strong. And Hannah oh, what a bad fight! Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it! It was, it's been different for the past couple years when we've got a bunch of sophomores and freshmen on the team. And it's really just built on that. We've gotten really close. And going to the Arkansas volleyball camp, we had a lot. We spent a lot of time together and learned a lot about each other. Having a bigger team and having better defense, we're able to run more plays and utilize our offense better. And last year, it was just like setting the ball outside every time because we didn't have good enough passing. But this year, we're able to use everyone. I hope that we go to state, win districts and go to state, we're definitely capable of doing so. Oh, awesome, so much power, returned on one, and tipped and over by Madison Rubin. It was a really fun story to make, Hannah and the rest of the girls are going to have a great season. Uh, Mad I think Madison's right, they're going to win state, I have all the confidence in the world, uh, they're going to have a great year. Alright then. Now, let's continue on with some announcements. Tomorrow is the Barstow Pizza Hut Night, sponsored by your VPA. This is a great way to raise money for the school and to enjoy some amazing pizza. Remember the promo code BARSTOW when you order online, or keep your receipt and turn it into the front desk by Tuesday, September 24th. The Operation Breakthrough Club is looking for volunteers at their upcoming citywide food drive, Trick or Treat So Kids Can Eat. You can help at our, pack, at our packing day at our harvesters on September 21st, or actually on the uh, <laughs> Yeah. Just make sure you email Lissa Leapson, Jeannie Brown, or Andy Grabowski for details. Hey Chris, you know one thing I really appreciate about Barstow is my amazingly talented classmates. This feature produced by Miracles Richter it highlights two talented Barstow seniors. Let's take a look. <laughs> Mostly play with my electric Gibson Les Paul. It's my favorite. I got it for my birthday from my dad. I love acoustic style um, because it really has a full sound to it and a really pretty um, sound, at least to my ear. <laughs> Well, actually, Skylar got me into guitar. I saw her playing in the hall one time, and um, uh, she showed me how to play a chord, and then I went over to her house and jammed with her, and she taught me uh, Bubbly, the song, and um, then I, just, I asked my parents for a guitar and taught myself the rest. I like 
like it. It's nice to be able to play at school. It's kind of calming, especially when things are very stressful. It would be a little bit pointless if I didn't play in front of people. And I like playing in the halls and, and at school because, um, you know, I get really stressed out during class and whatnot, and it's a really good way for me to calm down. And I've also had people tell me that, like, hearing my guitar in the hallways brightened their day. So that it makes me really happy that I can make others happy with music. I'd like to learn how to play the um, solo to Stranger Things Have Happened by the Foo Fighters because it's an amazing solo, although it is acoustic and I'm more of a fan of electric guitars, but it's just so fascinating. I love it. Um, I would love to learn Canon in D. I know it's weird, but I, I would love to learn that and be able to play a really hard classical song like that. I really didn't pick it up a lot until freshman year, so I've been playing guitar all throughout high school and it's been this, this journey of mine that's really helped me grow as a person. And this is my first guitar and it's my final year of high school, so I thought it'd be a really cool way to sort of bring the year to a close and, and take a little bit of everybody with me to college. Those are really two amazing Barstow senior girls and every time I walk in the hall and I hear the amazing music they produce, it really just helps me relax through my day and I really hope they keep going and it's really awesome. Great piece, Merrick. Right. Many more to come in the future. The Mecca Innovation Challenge is a competition that takes the best and brightest youth and professionals from across Kansas City and challenges, challenges them to solve real business problems with innovative tech solutions. The competition takes place on September 25th, 28th and 29th in Kansas City. For details to sign up, go to MeccaChallengeKC.com. And uh, the, that's a great way to get volunteer hours. The Community Blood Drive Center Blood Drive will be at Barstow on Wednesday, October 30th from 9 to 12.30. The Blood Mobile will arrive in the front circle at 8.20 and leave at 2, just in time for the Lower School Halloween Parade, which starts at 2.15. Stay tuned to BTVN for a Blood Drive promo produced by 8th grader Jesse Payne. And finally, don't forget the Bar Fe Fall Festival this Friday. We hope there's a big turnout and everyone has a blast. It's going to be great. And one more thing on a side note, um, just senior parking. I understand that you got, there's no sign set up. There's, uh, there's 43 seniors that drive, and we need, we need all the spots we can get. So uh, just we'll put a sign up as soon as possible. Just make sure if you, what, you think a senior parking probably is. So just thank you for your cooperation. Well, we hope you have a great Wednesday. Have a good one, Barstow. Have a good one.